Hi, I'm Grace Allegro. I'm a former president of the Historical Society of Pennsville. I'm here today to talk about the Riverview Beach Park. In 1851, the Silver Grove Hotel was built at the end of Main Street in Pennsville, adjacent to the Delaware River. And of course, many people came as a result of the Silver Grove Hotel being there. It had a dance floor, they had picnic tables. The farmhouse had a tavern in it, and they had a ferry alongside the river there. So people came from all over to be a part of the Silver Grove Hotel and to also be a part of that tavern in that farmhouse. W.D. Acton was able to buy the Wheaton Farm, which later became the Hannah Batten Farm, and he bought all 375 acres. But he only needed 59 acres for the park because he was going to build this giant amusement park. And when he, as soon as he bought the land from Hannah Batten, he started the construction of this beautiful park. And um, right away he started with the rides. He put in the Hummingbird, the roller coaster that was the largest, the Wildcat, which was the smaller uh, coast, roller coaster, and it came much later. He put in um, the Ferris wheel, airplanes, rockets, a train, a seaplane that would take people for an actual airplane ride. Uh, later they had um, uh, a golf, a miniature golf course on the property. They had a laughing house, they had bumping cars, they had the donkeys, they had food stands, they had a penny arcade, they had restaurants. And he also installed the most wonderful thing, 150 feet by 75 feet Olympic pool on the property. And adjacent to the Olympic pool was a kiddie pool. And that was a real big attraction for people coming into the area. And then to me, the most wonderful part of the whole park was the carousel building. When you walk through the entrance uh, to get into the park, the carousel building was right ahead, straight ahead. You walked right into it. And it was magnificent because he had purchased these animals and the uh, carousel from the uh, William Denzel Company out of Germantown, Pennsylvania. And they were all carvers. And the Denzels are considered the best carvers in the world. There were a lot of stars that came to the, to the area. Uh, Sally Starr came. And years later, Dick Clark, you know, appeared a couple of times at the park too. Uh, Sally Starr was there so much that uh, they constructed Frontierland at the very front of the whole park. They gave her a whole section, a whole fort. They enclosed the whole thing. She had a stagecoach, she had horses, she had her name on the building. So that was her place to do all of her acts. The park closed in 1967. Uh, then in 1976, the town of Pennsville, after the park had really pretty much been demolished, uh, they purchased the land for the community and today it is a park. And then in 1977, uh, the, the town decided to establish the September Fest, which is a, a gathering of people the first Saturday after Labor Day. And it's a huge celebration with a lot of rides and fireworks and food and much of the same things that we saw on that property a hundred years ago. We have been given, if you look in, in this room, which is the park room, we have been given all these rides. We have three donkeys, we have a rocket, we have uh, bumping cars, we have a custer car. We have a lot of equipment in here and a lot of memorabilia. In the museum as well, we have a lot of stuff that people have given us over the years. I'd like to invite all of you to come down to our museum on Church Landing Road and visit our park building and see the wonderful things that I was just talking about. And we have a history room where you can find out uh, more interesting facts about the park and the history of our community.